This first monologue that I'm taking on is from a play called Red by John Logan. If you haven't taken a look at this one yet, definitely go check it out. It's about a famous painter named Mark Rothko back in the 1950s and his assistant Ken, uh, and the dialogue they have between them in the studio. Right before this monologue is when Rothko basically dismisses all of Ken's pain about his, um, well, his, his, his parents passing, and Rothko basically just dismisses it. So, he's quite angry. Bores you? Bores you? Christ almighty, trying to work for you for a living! The talking, talking, talking! Jesus Christ, won't he ever shut up! Titanic self-absorption of the man! You stand there, trying to look so deep, when you're nothing but a solipsistic bully! With your grandiose self-importance and your lectures and arias and, and let's look at the fucking canvas for another few weeks. Let's not fucking paint. No, let's just look. And the pretension. Jesus Christ, the pretension. I can't imagine any other painter in the history of art ever tried so hard to be significant. You know, not everything has to be so goddamn important all the time. Not every painting has to rip your guts out and expose your soul. Not everyone wants art that actually hurts. Sometimes, sometimes you actually just want a, a still life or, or a landscape or a soup can or a comic book, which you might learn if you ever actually left your hermetically sealed submarine here with all your windows closed and no natural light because, because natural light isn't good enough for you. But then again, nothing, nothing is ever good enough for you. Not even the people who buy your pictures. Museums are nothing but mausoleums. Galleries, galleries are run by pimps and swindlers and art collectors are nothing but shallow social climbers. So, so who is good enough to own your art? Anyone? Or maybe the real question is who's good enough to even see your art. Is it possible that, that no one's worthy to look at your paintings? That's it, isn't it? We've all been weighed in the balance and have been found wanting? Huh? You say that you spend your life in search of real human beings. People who can look at your pictures with compassion, but in your heart you no longer believe those people exist. So you lose faith. So you lose hope. So black swallows red. <sighs> My friend, I don't think you'd recognize a real human being if you were standing right in front of you. Never mind. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed my take on that monologue. If you have any recommendations for any monologues that I should check out, please leave them in the comments down below. Uh, until next time, see you later.